And once again, we are out and about at the Victor Green Foundation, and we are with Richard Schiff. And you are a actor, and I know that you flew in here from Vancouver, and you are doing whatever you can to support Victor Green because we all know he supports our youth, and our youth are important to us. So tell me a little bit about your relationship with Victor. You just covered everything. Um, I, um, uh, Victor and I met actually at the Joe Namath tournament where I, I, I try to get to whenever I can. I'm usually working this time of year so it's hard to get back. Um, and Victor and I just became friends and he told me about his charity and uh, I, I, I love what he does and I love how many different other charities he supports through his charity. And um, uh, you know, as we all know, it's all about the kids, it's all about the future. Uh, well, look at this cute dog, oh my God. It's all about the animals in my book. I'll, I'll, I'll go for my animals over my kids any day. But, um, uh, you know, we all know it's, uh, it's, uh, we're, in, we're in some difficult um, times in terms of uh, how, we, how we're going to move forward and how we're going to uh, make this uh, country uh, un unified again and how we're going to make it safe for our kids. Um, and uh, the best way to do that is through education and uh, through support and teaching them how to become self-sufficient and to become leaders if, if they have that capacity. Um, and it's no easy thing. I have two kids and it's not, it's, you know, they were supported their whole lives and, and they still struggle from time to time. So um, uh, if people have for any reason uh, um, some kind of, you know, lack of advantage, um, it, it becomes even more of a challenge and Victor supports um, uh, working with those kids in that capacity and I, I think it's awesome. So I myself have five children. I know you said that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's, just, that's, just, that's just not smart. That's not smart. So talk about financial challenges, but Get a charity just for you. I, I'm telling you for, and I have all boys and they're all crazy athletes. So when we're talking about our, our children, you hit on something, which is that you're there to support your kids. At what point do you let, at what point do you set them free? Well, you know, I wanted to do it when they were two, but that wasn't uh, logical. Um, they're still not, my daughter's here, she's 22 years old and you know, she calls me every day. I didn't have that experience with my parents. I never called my parents, ever, you know? So I was, I found my independence very young and as a result I struggled actually for a very long time to find, a, find my place in the world. And, um, uh, and, and Ruby, uh, my daughter and my son both, my son is on the, on the spectrum so he's had a different kind of struggle. Um, but they're finding their place in the world and they love their parents. And I, you know, I'm shocked. Like, you know, that she wants to hang out with me in this golf tournament all day and she's 22 years old and has all these other options, you know. She lives in the city now. So uh, uh, I think that's, that's cool. What was the question? <laughs> when do we let them oh, go? When do we let them go, yeah, I don't think ever. I think, um, you know, we let them go when, when our bodies let go and we move on, but I don't, uh, I've noticed now, you know, my son is a little bit less, you know, consistent with his contact um, to, with us, uh, so he's a little bit more independent, but uh, I think they, bo I think they both uh, want our participation um, and want to be around us and, and want to feel the connection to family, and that's awesome, and also with their, with their closer, you know, their closest part, family and, and whatever little community they're, they're gathering around them. You know, the connection, it's all about connection. If you don't feel connected to this world, that's what creates um, mental dis, dis ease and, yeah, and, and, um, and loneliness and violence and all those things. It's all about if, if you feel connected um, or not to people and to the world. I love it. Well, it looks like we're going to get interrupted. Right there, guys. Right, right there, guys. You're good. <laughs> So with that in mind, it looks like everybody's getting ready to go out to their foursome. So, Richard, thank you so much for stopping by today. You got it. Richard Schiff.